All right, in the last video, got root, unlocked it, all that good stuff. That was the hard part, like I said. This is the easy part. I'm gonna do a kernel. Okay, this is gonna be a custom kernel. It'll allow for uh, overclocking and a bunch of other cool little tweaks and fun stuff. Um, this is the easy part. You can actually do it just straight on the phone. No joke, you don't have to use a computer at all. It's super easy. I'll, uh, I actually got the other camera set up. I know it's a little bit janky, but I've seen worse. So we're going to go to that. What I did was I went to, let me make sure I'm in frame. Yep, there we go. Went to XDA, uh, picked a kernel. This one, we're going to do the Elemental X kernel. Uh, basically, you just flash it and twerp. Super easy. I already have it downloaded. You can see it in um, the download folder. Always, always, always hash your shit. Always. Because if the hash is bad, that means it didn't download right or it's malicious, possibly, or it's corrupt or it's something bad. So we'll go like this. I already copied the... Um, Hey, do things. There we go. D3AF, whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do is input checksum for comparison because I already copied it. Okay, copied clip. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What are you doing? program is not as good as it used to be d3 af whatever 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 this program kind of sucks what the hell man this thing used to be awesome compared there you go matches okay so we're good um i don't think i'll use that program again that app rather but whatever anyway now we're good to go so what we're going to do is reboot into the bootloader. Power off. Yes, there are easier ways to do this. You can actually do it with um, with apps. Now that you're rooted, uh, you can get apps that'll reboot into the bootloader for you. But whatever. So it's I think it's volume up and power. Things as I did it on accident once. Yep, there we go. Barcodes. What the hell? BP. What the fuck is that? Factory? Okay, all those are new. <laughs> huh. Interesting. So we're going to recovery mode. That shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't care. I think it says that because it's um, encrypted by default, I think. But I don't know. Never seen that before. It's new for me. Phone takes forever to boot, by the way. There we go. Team win. Team win. And win it does. So we're going to go install. We're going to go to... No. Where in the hell? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Unspecial. Elemental. We're going to swipey swipey. Now, this kernel actually cranks up something called um, Aroma. It's an installer that runs out of the OS. It's actually an installer for the kernel. So it'll tell you Elemental X, Next 6P, which is very good, so you know you have the right damn thing. Do not flash the wrong software to the wrong hardware. Hard brick is a thing. Trust me, I've done it. With, with software, yeah. So it's kind of cool that it shows you, hey, um, this is for the ele or Elemental X for next 6P. Kind of cool. Next. Uh, you're saying blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Yeah. By using kernel. Using, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No shit. Do not flash this over another custom kernels. Over other custom kernels, rather. Please ensure you have either a previous version of Elemental X. This kernel will allow you to choose hardware settings. It may not work with your device. Okay. So... I, um, this is a stock everything so far. So this is the first kernel I'm running. Uh, might be the only one I run because it looks like it might be kind of tricky to go to another one after this, but we'll see. 
Anything's possible. Hey. Select maximum CPU frequency. Yep. Uh, maximum A56. So, CPU frequency for the big cluster. We're going to crank that bad boy up. The reason it says the two different clusters, the this it has separate portions of the CPU that are clocked differently, that handle different tasks. They call it Big Little. And they they stylize it all goofy and shit, but basically it's some little smaller lower powered cores that do general shit in the background like you know updating stuff and, and general little things and then they have the bigger cores that do the heavier lifting like the actual processing of apps and programs and you know stuff that you're running and uh, the heavier lifting so they do it bigger big little this lets you actually set the um the kernel speed separately for each part which is kind of cool this settings uh, yeah i'm gonna leave that the fucking way it is read head buffers uh yeah uh, i'm gonna not touch any of that because i don't know what the fuck it is wake gestures uh gestures la, 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 la. um i'm just gonna do double tap because that's pretty cool i like the double tap to wake you don't have to pick the phone up or you know grab it or whatever to hit the power button you can just kind of thump it a couple times wherever it's kind of nice I like it. Um, enable, uh, sure, why not? Sweep to sleep. Sweep across nav. Bar. Oh no, I like that. The nav bar is down here. It's the bits with the, uh, you know, back home, whatever. We're gonna do sweep left. We'll lock it. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, hitting the power button is pretty easy, but. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. I like it. Uh, Select module wants to install. SE Linux. Sure, why not? F sync faster for the risk of data loss. Nope, sorry, not risking that. All right, so now we are ready to go. We're we're all set up. We picked our little aroma options and everything. So we're gonna go installing Ubuntu X. Installing kernel finished. Yes, it is that fast. It is that easy. Congratulations, poof done. Now, if the thing boots, we'll be real happy. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Gonna wipe the cache. It, it's just kind of a habit for me, but you know, whatever. So now, it should boot. <laughs> should. Blah blah. I'm unlocked. You can see down here a little. Little unlock thing. You've been a bad boy and unlocked your phone. Yeah, whatever. Takes forever to boot. Forever. It's the slowest booting phone I've seen probably ever. It's unreal. Yay, finally. Hey, it booted. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that makes daddy happy. So we are booted, running on a, a custom kernel, no computer needed, super easy, graphical user interface and everything for the install, very, very cool. Again, this shit has come so far from what it used to be. It, it man, it used to be rough. Now you can go into the Play Store and you can get an app called, there's more than one out there, but uh, CPU Tuner, if it's still around, I don't even know. Yeah, there we go. Get an app called CPU Tuner, and you can go in and tweak anything you can think of. Um, see, that's the, the super user request pop-up that I was talking about. Very cool. You can go in and do... Um, the Nearly the old default... Uh, let me see. Haven't used this app in a while. No joke. We're gonna do power user because fuck it. Okay, cool, whatever. Okay, so you can go in and do, you can set different governors. This is like, um, well, it used to be anyway. Trigger not enabled. Why are you not enabled? You should be enabled. Well, I can crank it up, sort of. Maybe not. Hmm, okay. Triggers, new trigger. 
one. Never had to do this before. I have no idea. But, uh, no, go away. I don't want to do that. Okay, no, fuck this. I don't like this. So let's try, um, what was the other one called? System Tuner, I think? Tuner? This was another one I used back in the day that may or may not be completely different than <laughs> what it was, like that one. And give it a shot. There's a whole bunch of them out there. I'm sure there's new ones that are even better than what I've seen be before, but again, grant permissions. Uh, whatever. Go away. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Some trees not granted. You accept permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always warn you because you can break your shit. You manager. So my max is now one point seven. Yes. You can go in and change different profiles. Like this is the. Uh, the Elemental X profile, which should go off of the um, the settings that we set in the installer, should. Again, I don't really know. So I don't know if because this is an eight-core CPU, so it should do. I don't know how it breaks it down. Like, are these the little ones and these are the big ones, or are these the little ones and those are the big ones? I don't. I don't really know. Not real sure. Although I tap that, and you can see all the clock speeds jump up to where I set it. I actually tapped up here. Come on, 1.5 or whatever before, and it jumped up. But now, like I've limited that, it can't go below 1.47. Oops, shit. Yeah, you go back down. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want your shit to run screaming fast all the time because your battery life will last about five minutes. All these different tweaks though, you can go through and try different stuff and see, you know, what works best and what doesn't. This, I don't know. I don't remember what, what the big option was or what the little option was even for that matter. Stop it. I didn't mean to go over. Thank you. No. You bastard. Stop it. Go back over. There you go. No. Why are you doing that? Fuck. Now this shit's being all fucking retarded. I don't like this app either. Fuck this. Go away. So we'll go... Oops. So we'll go CPU, I don't know, whatever. No frill CPU control. Hmm. Give it a shot. Thanks. That's another really cool thing about overclocking is that you can not only overclock it, but you can underclock it where you can bump it down so when it's just trying to relax and not do anything it can actually do less than before which can save battery you can also go in and do your voltages on some of these I know CPU tuner used to it used to let you do that where you could go in and no shit control your voltages per clock speed and everything kinda like on a computer when you overclock and stuff you have to go in and do your voltages you used to be able to do it on the phone and it was pretty cool you could actually maximize your battery life doing that too. So 1.7. The the thing I don't know about this is like 
I got to pick two sets of clock speeds in the installer, but all of these are not mentioning that, and that kind of makes me go, hmm. I remember seeing something now, actually. Let's go back here. Now that I think about it, go away, go away. This one, maybe? Maybe, no. It was on their other page. Okay, we'll just go back to the main page. Go here. Kernel manager. Now that I think about it, maybe this three dude fucking really, really. Is it clean? Does it work? CPUs. Color control. That's kind of cool. Okay. I'm not. I'm not opposed to paying for software. the The thing is. Sometimes the shit doesn't work and you don't realize it in time to... Yeah, I gotta do this off camera for obvious reasons. Sometimes you don't realize until it's too damn late to refund it and then you're just stuck with shit software and you're like, well, fuck. Okay, so I got that. Grant. Now, theoretically, this should work very well with the damn kernel because it comes from the same people. So let's find out. Swipe from left, open nav drawer, go back. Okay, cool. Tap on cards for shortcuts to other parts of the app. Cool. Pull down refresh screen. Cool. So they built in a whole bunch of like default Android stuff, which makes the user experience very good. I got me an apply on boot. Sweet. Okay, cool. So I think these are the little ones, the little cores, and then these are the big cores, I think. I'm gonna have to tinker around with it a little bit, find out what the hell's going on with it. But yeah, this app actually looks really, really good. Um, what is this? Oops. Ooh, it actually turned two of them off. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then look up here, power save mode. That's pretty awesome. It turned off two of the big cores, so I guess these are the little cores. Ah, that's pretty sweet. So then you go performance. Yeah. Perform. Ah ha ha ha. Very nice. I like it. All right, so very cool. Anyway, so that's been the uh, the the kernel flashing portion of it all. I think I'm probably gonna uh, gonna install a ROM to it. I don't know which one yet. I'm not real sure. Like I said in the last video, I might do the carbon, um, maybe CyanogenMod. mod. I don't know. There, there's more than a couple of them out there, so I have some options. Got to poke around and do some research, but uh, yeah, so the fun has begun. Stay tuned for more. Later.